So with an interesting turn of events, there was an announcement yesterday that Amazon Luna and GOG are teaming up to play even more games that you own on the platform. Is this the year of Luna? Let's go over the blog post GOG released yesterday. Now I'll put the blog post in the description so you can go check it out, but let's run through what they have mentioned and what they haven't and do a little speculating about this news. So GOG games are coming to Amazon Luna. The post mentions games The Witcher series and Cyberpunk 2077. There are no mentions of other games on this post. More on this later. Now the post does go into some detail about Luna as a platform, and I'm sure most of you know what Luna is. Now what's interesting is that they mentioned the DRM free direction they are going in. This means own it, play it. Bring your own games to the platform from GOG, and apparently you can buy them directly on Luna. This is all on top of less limitations with digital rights. So, it's been confirmed. Amazon Luna is going in this direction from now on from what it looks like. This is fantastic news for the platform. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video on Ubisoft bringing key games to the platform, this will enhance the value of the platform tenfold. It is very good to know that Amazon hasn't just been sitting on their hands with Luna this whole time. This is a giant step in the right direction for the platform. I am very pleased with this information. But this does leave me with some questions, concerns, and even some complaints about this decision. First, how many games from GOG will they be bringing to the platform? When Ubisoft came, it wasn't the whole collection of PC games. Heck, it wasn't even the full collection of Ubisoft Plus titles, just a select few. Will that happen here as well? Here's another question. Will there be a publisher problem as we do with several publishers on GeForce Now? Will Sony be here? Is Bethesda joining the party? Has Lucasfilm signed off on this? Etc, etc. I sure hope so. Now for the last thing. For those who remember my video on what Luna needs to do to be successful, I stated that they need to expand the Epic Games library, not GOG. Here's the problem. How many users actually have games from GOG versus, let's say, Epic or even Steam? I don't own any games from GOG. Not saying I would never buy from GOG, but I just haven't. Now it looks like I'd have to buy Cyberpunk again just to try it on the platform. I bought it on Stadium, then Steam for GeForce Now and Boosteroid, and now it looks like I have to get it on GOG 2 for Luna. Why didn't they just go with Epic Games? These are all questions I have regarding this. Granted, this announcement is really good news, but I still have a few concerns and I'm sure most of you guys do too. So let me know what your concerns are in the comments below. And if you like this news update on Amazon Luna, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep a lock right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.